series of science related videos. The first topic I will be talking about are tides. Tides are the rise and fall of sea levels caused by the mixture of the gravitational forces exerted by the moon, sun and the earth rotation. Silicus of Silesia correctly theorized that the moon affects the tidal he used this argument to support his heliocentric theory. I will briefly talk about what heliocentrism and geocentrism is. Heliocentrism is the astronomical model of which the earth and the planets revolve around the sun at the center of the solar system. Geocentralism is the astronomical model of which all the celestial bodies in the cosmos orbit around the Earth in the center. Back to the tides. Isaac Newton's theory of gravitation gave an explanation of why there were two tides a day. Current procedure for analyzing tides follows the method of harmonic analysis introduced in 1860 by William Thomson. It is based on the principle that the theories of the motions of sun and moon determine a large number of components, frequencies, and at each frequency there is a component of force producing Each location has different variables that have to be considered. There are numerous factors that affect the sea level. The first one is the distance. Changing distance between the moon and the earth affects tidal heights. When the moon is closest to earth, also known as perigee, the tidal heights increase. the range shrinks. A full moon causes frigid spring tides with the largest tidal range even at its most powerful. 
full. This pulse is still weak, causing tidal differences of inch at most. Bathymetry, the shape of the shoreline and the ocean floor changes the way the tides propagate. There is no simple way to predict the height of the tides by just using the moon's distance from Earth. Custom features such as underwater rhythmetry and the coastline shape mean that specific location features solar gravitational force on the Earth is on average 179 times stronger than the lunar, but because the Sun is on average 300 further from the Earth. Its field gradient is weaker. The solar tidal force is 46% as large as the lunar. The ocean's surface is approximately referred to as the geoid. Since the gravitation force is equal to the potential gradient, there are no tangential forces on such a surface. ocean surface is thus in gravitational equilibrium. In most places there are two tides a day. Each tide has an eye point also known as the eye tide and the low point known as the ebb tide. The period of tide is about 12 hours and 25 minutes, exactly as a tidal 
titled Dunia Day. The moon orbits the earth in the same direction as the earth rotates on its axis. So it takes the moon 24 hours and 50 minutes for the moon to return to the same location in the sky. During this time the moon has passed overhead once underfoot once. So in many places the period of the strongest tidal forcing is the above mentioned about 12 hours and 25 minutes. Now to talk about the different tide cycles. Diurnal tide cycle. An area as a diurnal tidal cycle if it experience one high and one low tight every lunar day. Many areas in the Gulf of Mexico experience this to high and to low tides of approximately equal size every lunar day. Many areas on the eastern coast of North America experience this tidal cycles. Mix semi diurnal tide cycle an area has a mix semi diurnal tidal cycle if it experiences to high and to low tides of different size every lunar day many Western coast of North America experience these tidal cycles. Okay, I hope you found this fascinating. I really enjoyed researching this. If I made any mistakes, please do correct me in the comments. If you have any suggestions for which scientific topic I should read next, leave a comment and I will respond. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Tudah, udah terlalu.